Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock and something very strange has happened earlier today concerning two Nintendo 64 games. One is Banjo-Kazooie and the other is Blast Corps. And all of this was reported by Gamatsu, so let's see what they had to say. According to the Nintendo's Japan release schedule, Banjo-Kazooie and Blast Corps are launching on the Wii U Virtual Console today in Japan. Links lead to 404s. And yes, this actually happened. And this had the internet going crazy. I mean, they actually had listings for the virtual console on the Wii U for Banjo Kazooie and Blast Course, or what is called in Japan, Banjo Kazooie's Great Adventure and Blast Dozer. Now, after both of these listings have been spotted on the internet, Nintendo took these down immediately. And when you click on both of these links for both of these games, they lead you to these pages. So, this is very, very strange. I'm not too sure if Nintendo just made the mistake of listing these two games for the Wii U Virtual Console, or is it something else? Because we all know that the Wii U is a dead console and Nintendo hasn't concentrated on that console for a very long time. So could this be something else? Could this just be an internal mistake in both of these games, Banjo-Kazooie and Blast Corps be coming to the Nintendo Switch as part of Rare Replay? I'm not too sure about that, but with both of these games, Blast Corps and Banjo Kazooie both premiering on the Nintendo 64, they could just be coming to the Nintendo Switch Online service as Nintendo's next batch of games. I mean, let's think about this. We already have NES games, SNES games. The next step would probably be Nintendo 64, so this could possibly happen and as soon as 2021. Now, of course, I'm not saying that this is all set in stone at this point, but at the same time, I think this is very, very odd. Nintendo has made some crazy mistakes with games in the past, so something like this could happen. But of course, we do have to be patient and just wait and see, because time will tell. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for this video. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think that Nintendo just made an honest mistake or does this mean something bigger? Please let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, remember to keep it locked here to run the clock, we're here. We focused on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. Catch you guys in the next one.